Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to another Payday 2 video. I sound like crap right now, but... Uh... Thought I was feeling better. Nose is less stuffy. Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, it's kind of less stuffy. Uh, but my throat still kind of sucks. But anyways... <clears throat> we're here... On day... 8, 9, and 10 everybody it's eight eight to ten I don't know what that means anyway so 2 a.m. clowns and cops is a great game but it seems the rules keep changing shut your gob it's my game in my house rules friendly fire is on hey don't play games with Clover Vlad she's a winner oh that's Vlad I feel like Vlad's gained a few pounds since we last saw him Dialogue? Is there any dialogue here? Clowns and cops, eh? Looks like fun. Yeah, I mean, look at Dallas. Apparently he's Abraham Lincoln or something. Or, well, Sam of America. I don't know. Whatever you want to say. <clears throat> New taters. For those of you who are looking for a different challenge in Payday 2, check out our 10 new mutators. Mutators changes the game, uh... I'm not even going to pronounce that. And it's fun feature when you want to change the pace. So as you can see here, lobbies on CrimeNet that use mutators will appear in a different color. You won't always get the same rewards playing with mutators as playing without them. As some mutators might make the heist too easy for you. So let's go into the mutators, shall we? Using mutators might affect your computer's performance. Use with caution and tongue and cheek. Tongue in cheek? What? What does that even mean? Hydras. <clears throat> Killing an enemy will split them in two uh, weaker enemies in place until they are no, lo no longer be split. The maximum splits can be set between one and four. Uh, I guess that's just like, hey, you keep getting more and more guys, I guess. That's how that works. Moving on. Creeps, or what I like to call them, creepers, as a reference to Minecraft, probably. Killing an enemy will cause them to explode with the same amount of damage they killed them. Bulldozers can be set to explode with nuclear damage. Moving on. Friendly fire. You can damage other players by hitting them with weapons other than explosives. The, mul the multiplier can be set between 0 0.1 and 3. So as you can see here, Almir has died. You will no longer be seen, Almir. Rest in peace, Almir. He was a he was a great guy. Apparently, he was hoxed for for some odd reason, which I don't understand exactly. But hey, I'm not the expert at that stuff. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh, look, it's like a little purple thing. Whatever that means. Because of training, enemies will spawn with more or less health than normal, making them easier or harder to kill. The multi the multiplier can be set to uh, ten. Uh, uh, alternate. Uh, arsenal, I'm pretty sure. Players will take more or less damage than normal from hitting by or being hit by enemies. The multiplier can be set to 10. Clone Army. All enemies that spawn during assault phases will be replaced by specific special units that you are, that you select. You can choose between bulldozers, shields, tasers, cloakers, and medics. Moving on. Uh, uh, extraterrestrial heisters. Bane has finally unraveled his true self as the Mother Bane, and your shotguns will uh, ab abduct enemies so that you can return them to the mothership. Do not disappoint the Mother Bane. What? The, what? Oh, okay. BFFs. Or BFFs. I, th I think that still works. All normal enemies during assault waves will be replaced with medics, and all special units are replaced with bulldozers. Nah, ain't that funny. Overdosed. All bulldozers are equipped with a shield to protect themselves with it. Huh. Well, this is the end for everyone else, and look at that. You see a nice little, little Easter egg in the back there. There's a red van. So that means we're probably going to get some more customized van colors, probably in the future, or I guess it's already in the game, probably. 
Here, let's see if we can find anything neat in these little pictures. No, it still looks the same. Still looks the same. Still pretty much looks the same. Still the same. Still the same. Still the same. Still the same. 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 Yeah, but you can see there's like a little uh, red van, so we're probably going to get different van uh, colors soon, hopefully. I don't know. I haven't looked at the change logs uh, because, of course, I've, I've been sick. Still feel sick, but oh well. <clears throat> Hurt me more. When a cloaker charges and kicks somebody, there will appear a secondary effect. You can choose between fire trap, explode, smoke bomb, or random. Wow. Amazing. Moving on from that, we got the body count limit. A new slider has been added to the advanced video options that lets you choose how many corpses are visible at the same time. When you reach the point in the heist where you ask yourself, what if I've done? You've got the right setting. So, let's start with a reduced here. Reduced. Minor, minor cops. Uh, we got normal. We got normal. You know, you know. Uh, then we got increase. We got increase. Um, and then we got high. Then we got high. Uh, then we got very high. And then we got ultra. And look, look how many dead bodies are in there, dude. Look how many dead bodies are in there. Dang. Like, come on, man. All right, so moving on from that, we go into day uh, nine. Let me take a drink first. Ah, okay. 3 a.m. Everyone is going to the piñata. Is going at the piñata, sorry. But the but this is a dozer piñata. It will take a special weapon to break it. Really? I like that one. Really? Really? A, doz a dozer piñata, really? So let's see here. What are the weapons? Because I can name pretty much all of these. Mini Uzi, uh, maybe a Krinkov, just by the look of it. Hockey stick, oversaw, Glock, compact, uh, Thompson, min or, uh, submachine gun, and a selfie stick. Great. And this is apparently the new shotgun that I called out. I knew that we were going to add a new shotgun due to that little, little shotgun shell right there. New shotgun. A brand new Live, uh, s s what? Snake, sneak, sp sp uh, Spider-Man? Shotgun has been added to the weapons menu. The, oh my gosh, overkill, can you make words easier for me, please? Uh, the Gol the Golich 12-gauge shotgun, that's probably not what it's called whatsoever. It comes with a revolving mag that holds six shots, but it doesn't just look good. It's deadly as you would, you would expect. Yep. 42 damage is so is so deadly overkill. That's pretty that's pretty deadly, man. That's 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 pretty deadly, man. So the magazine is 6, total ammo is 54, rate of fire is 333, damage is 42, accuracy is 56, stability is 44, concealment is 13 and threat is 28. Now, I don't know if there are like little add-ons such as, I don't know, like an extended mag or something or Somewhat, but we can take a look in the game for a few seconds uh, Because well, we have nothing else to talk about but I pretty much called that it was gonna be a new shotgun That or it was gonna be a new sniper because I don't know I feel like a lot of British people would use snipers, but that's just about me Or that that is just my opinion moving on from that We got the heist 4 a.m. The original payday game did some legendary heists, but Sydney wants to want some of that old school action too. Come on, that Panic Room heist you guys did back in the day was awesome. I want to do it too. Let's do it now. You're not tired, are you? <laughs> Sydney, you fucking hellcat. <laughs> yep, much better than the old house. Hmm. Something familiar about this picture. Did they kill the dog? Major? Did they kill the dog? 
Are they gonna kill the dog in John Wick too? They better not kill that dog, otherwise I'm gonna be super upset. These people just don't know when to stop, do they? Well, I mean, technically we are stopping now. Ah, uh, it's been a fucking great party, it has. Uh, I, I mean, I would say so. Had to, had to do a cut there due to, uh, reasons. Um, yeah. Hopefully that did get cut out, otherwise this will just be awkward. Anyways, return of a classic. Panic Room, Payday 2. Let's play, uh, let's play the trailer, shall we? Ah, oh, shoot, did it break the- did it, did it seriously break the whole thing? Hold on, do I have to reload it? Hold on. Oh my goodness. Does that work? Nope, just still has the trailer. Hold on. Hold on. Gosh darn it. I gotta reload the page now. Yep, yep, I know. I know, yeah. Yeah, panic room, yeah, blah blah blah. Alright. <clears throat> Classics never grow old. So therefore, we're adding the original map, Panic Room, to Payday 2. One of the most popular maps ever. Not, not really overkill, I, I would disagree. <sighs> We've amped up the graphics, but kept the challenge. This is the heist that will make you and your crew legends, as you battle your way towards the Panic Room, hopefully managing to airlift the whole thing out of, the, out of there. A simple double cross where close quarter combat is key. I see what you did there. You you said double cross. You said you said double cross. You said du the next heist you're gonna release is Heat Street, isn't it? The next heist you're gonna release is Heat Street because there's no possible way you would call it double cross. You're gonna release Heat Street next, aren't you? Ah, so just to talk about Panic Room because I. I play Pay to the Heist. I know a lot of people on this channel, maybe a few, have not played Pay to the Heist. If you don't know, Panic Room was. Shoot, it was the third heist? It was the third heist in the uh, menu uh, selector heist thingy. And basically, it was a drug deal, not really. Where we gave money to drug dealers where it was fake money, or it wasn't enough money. And our plan was to basically take the whole panic, the whole safe vault, whatever, fill with cocaine and money, and airlift it out of there, and basically take it away. This is where it kind of gets inspired by, or uh, that's kind of how the Alesso heist was inspired, or the way that we did Alesso heist, where we would put the C4 charges under it, and then we would blow open... And then the money would uh, it would show under the parts so we can then buzz saw under the vault in the vaults. So, yeah. Uh, why am I not too excited? Well, because Panic Room wasn't. I won't say it was my least favorite because my least favorite is the Slaughterhouse, and Slaughterhouse is already in there, which I'm thank goodness they didn't put in Greenbridge because Greenbridge would just been. Ugh. But, basically, I mean, they've already put in my favorite, or one of my favorite heists in the game, First Whole Bank, and I wish it was just bigger, you know? Because the thing is, is when you walk into Pay the Heist Bank, that is a big bank. It is a big bank. Like, the first time you see it, it is huge. After a while, I might get old, but, I don't know, it never got old for me. But when I go into Payday 2, it's not as big, you know? And that's what really disappointed me, but I still love that heist. You know, 
And then, of course, there's the few other heists, like Counterfeit and Undercover, which I also like, and then Panic Room. Panic Room is not a heist that I particularly hate, but not a heist that I particularly enjoy. This was actually, fun fact, the last heist I have to get my gold mask on, and it took nearly forever to complete this heist. Is it the last one to get my mask on? I'm pretty sure it is. But, this was one of the hardest... One of the hardest heists in Payday, the heist. Well, actually, all of them are pretty hard. But I was really hoping it was Diamond Heist. I was really hoping it was No Mercy, but it was pretty much spoiled for me when I watched Hawk's Delicious videos where he found out it was Panic Room. And, uh, you know, I'm not too... I'm not, I'm not disappointed. Sorry, I got the hiccups. I'm not too disappointed. Just was really hoping for one of my favorites personally, but Panic Room isn't bad, alright? They've already put in the, the one heist that I hate, which is Slaughterhouse. I mean, the, ol the only way you can make me even more upset is if, like, you put in... What? Greenbridge. So. Now, a lot of people are saying that they're not gonna add No Mercy because it's a Valve product. And I have to say that that... Uh... What? Because... The thing is, is that Valve and Overkill have a relationship. They might not have the strongest of relationships, but they definitely have a relationship. Meaning, as you can see in Pay the Heist, they have no mercy. And I think there might be an Easter egg somewhere else in like, I don't know, Left 4 Dead about Payday 2, I can't remember. But, then we move on to Payday 2, where they had Go Bank, which was basically the... Uh, bank in CSGO. In CSGO, they had an event where you could wear payday masks as terrorists, or, uh, or, well, not or. And they also have, well, that was a, that was a short period, because that was Halloween anyways. And they have the masks of the payday crew in, uh, the bank in CSGO. Now, Dallas's mask exists, I think chains. I think all of their masks are in there. the The main crew of the game, and so, and they also have the TF2 turret in Train Heist. So they have lots of Valve references, and of course, if you want to know another one, the uh, vault technically, the doorway that you see in Go Bank, is also a reference to TF2. It's not a full-on reference to the actual doorway in Go Bank, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it is the doorway in TF2, I'm pretty sure. I can't, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, Valve and Overkill have an established relationship, so getting No Mercy in there, and I've heard people say that the files of No Mercy exist in there somewhere, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they actually, you know, it, it, it would surprise me if they didn't put No Mercy in there. So what are the last few heists that we have? Well, there's a few heists. We now have, what, five heists? We got First World Bank, Panic Room, uh, Slaughterhouse, uh, Counterfeit, and Undercover. There are nine heists in total in the original game. Those heists being the, re the remaining few, Heat Street, Greenbridge, Diamond Heist, and No Mercy. That's four heists left. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if Overkill eventually, in the next year, release... Hmm. What do I bet? Hmm. I'm betting they're going to release three. I'm betting they're going to release three in the next year. Maybe in the first few months, they're going to release two or three. Uh, in the bundle, I would imagine they're going to probably bundle... Mm, <sighs> Heat Street and Greenbridge first. I'm betting it's going to be Heat Street and Greenbridge first. Because those are like one of the very first few heists that you actually play. Moving on from that, I'm pretty sure the last two heists, the two remaining heists, are going to be coming at the end of the year. Main reason why is because technically we already have a diamond uh, heist, which is the diamond heist from Dentist, which... I don't care what anybody says. 
that is not the diamond heist from pay or from pay the heists. Just it's just not. It's just not. Uh, and it just makes sense for No Mercy to be in there because one, it's a Halloween type map, and two, the No Mercy heist was added uh, as a little thing where you would if you uh if you had Left 4 Dead, I'm pretty sure is it. If you own Left 4 Dead, you would get the highest. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I can't remember fully. But I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it's going to be at the end of the year of next year. Because that'll be the end of Payday 2 development. And it's probably going to come around to October. So we're going to have to wait a whole year. But that's just, that's just speculation on my part. So now uh, let's go through all the days that we currently have... Uh, done basically the first day or yeah the first day being the new difficulties mayhem excellent I think mayhem is a really is a really nice change I think death wish and all of them are better now one down I still think needs to be tweaked but I want to try with a full team and coordinate uh, soon uh, new safe house. They've already added new trophies. I'm pretty sure they've added uh, some while I was sick. But I really do like how they're adding more and more while uh, while the heist, or not the heist, the uh, event goes on, basically. I really hope they keep adding more stuff to the safe house and it's just not like, alright, well, well, we're done. We don't need to add any more. Uh... So I really think it's a good, it's a good little neat thing. It's a side thing. It's not part of the main game, in my opinion, but it's a nice little thing. This reminds me of my Aunt Millie's 70th birthday. It did not end well. Yeah, it's because the black market update, probably. Uh, day, day three, I mean, we just got new masks and new colors. Not too bad. Not too bad. It was all right. Apparently, there's a Dead by Daylight reference in there for some odd reason. New throwable, the uh, flashbangs, they're flashbangs, okay, that, that, that's cool, apparently everybody loves these, what the heck, what the heck is that, that's weird, sorry, just, just hair, uh, anyways, moving on from that, uh, the new safe was alright, was alright, it was a nice little like, hey, there's rare, there's epic, and then there's legendary. Hopefully I get another one soon, so then I can get an epic and then sell it for so much money and get a game out of it. So that was alright. The next one, the medics, probably going to add more into the game probably. Like, add, I mean, I haven't really played Payday, like I've, I've seen the medics a bit, but I haven't really experienced them, and I think the medics are going to be a really nice addition into the game. I think they really are. I think they really add more to the game. And I think it adds back to the challenge. It's not exactly Payday the Heist challenging, but it certainly does add a challenge into the game that I think everybody wanted, and I think that's where it really comes down to. Is it Overkill realize, realize that they have to add more challenge instead of just meaningless stuff? And I think that's really what they've done here. And I'm proud of Overkill for doing it. And I'm really happy that uh, we're getting back on track, really. We're really getting back on track. You know, after, you know, so many other things that came out that we questioned. I think it's really gone back on, uh, got back on track. And hopefully we get more cool stuff in the future. Uh, we, we don't need to talk about that. This is just a mass pack. Uh, mutators, haven't tried them, but uh, they seem really cool. Uh, the fact that we now have the increased body limit as a, you know, standalone thing, or not really standalone, but into the game, that's cool. Um, new shotgun, I'm probably gonna try it out. I really do, shotguns are like one of my favorite guns in the, uh, in the game. So, I'll test it out. And, new heist, I've played it, so... I don't know. Hopefully they add some more challenge into it. So, moving on to that. We are going to go into the game. Go into gameplay here.
all the frame droppage right now. Ah, the first day. Yep, I don't want to pay attention to that. Alright, so let's take a look at things. Yes, I know I'm wearing the hat. I had that last time, but I need to wear my own. What? What's new? Is there a new mask? Is there a new mask? I'm confused. Normal? The awkward seal? That moment when you are going to f finish off a dozer, but when you pull the trigger, you're out of ammo. Or the moment when you're throwing the last bag straight into the sea. Or the moment when other robbers give you compliments about your mask, but you didn't put any effort into it. Or the moment when someone is re uh, repairing the drill the same time as you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Aww, it's adorable. Look at it. It's so adorable. It's weird, too. <laughs> I mean, if you put, like, some green paint on it, you can make an alien out of that mask. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is weird. So, I'm guessing it's a primary shotgun? Primary shotgun, I'm guessing? I... Oh, my goodness. I have lots of... Ah, oh, here we go. From some free slots. Where's the new shotgun? Is it a secondary? It's a secondary. It's a secondary shotgun. You know, I was kind of guessing if they would add a secondary shot. Yeah, it's a secondary shotgun. That's actually pretty interesting. I didn't know they would do that. All right, let's take a look into the into the modifications for it. Uh, all right, there we go. Oh my goodness, that took a bit. All right, so obviously the zero zero buckshots to give it more damage. Now it's at a fifty nine point eight. Still not the best. Silence barrel. Okay, these modifications don't what so matter to me. Uh, extensions, uh, shark tooth nozzle, obviously. Moving on, a bunch of stat boosts that I have not added into anything. Gadgets, a lead combo, obviously. And the sight. I'm pretty sure you have a special sight around here somewhere. No? Alright, well, the specter sight should do good. Switch reticle. There we go. Alright. Still doesn't seem like the best gun I was hoping for, but seems about... This seems alright. I bet I can get this bad boy a bit better. Alright, so let's see. What else was there? The mutators. The mutators. Right, so let's go into options here. Video, advance, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here we go. I like to put it at high, please, not ultra. Let's see, what else is there? I've already forgotten what was... Oh, the mutators. Prime oh, my safe house raid. I have to go save my safe house, everybody. Mutators. Oh, here we go. Change active mutators. Enemies gameplay. I'm going to definitely put friendly fire into everything now. <laughs> we should do that. We should have, like, a little... Uh, we should get everybody to do like a little revolver thing like have like a bunch of pistol skills and just have a like a standoff of revolvers That'd be pretty cool All right The cops are about to raid the safe house grab your weapons someone tip the cops off about oh it's just Bane talking about the safe house sorry I couldn't hear him for a second All right, so what else? That's about it. Oh, so let's see here. How can we get the shotgun a bit? I have my main, which, yeah, it's just full-on shotgun skills. 70 d <clears throat> Still wish it was a bit better, man. Like, really. Hold on. If I get rid of active reload, because I, if I'm only going full-on shotgun skills, right? Hmm, 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 hmm
can't get second wind. Alright, so does 21, 68, and has a 70 damage. So, still not the best shotgun in the game, but still has an interesting concept. Let's go into the, uh... Oh wait, shoot, we can't go into the safe house. It's getting raided. Well, I'm probably gonna do this by myself. Actually, hold on. I go into safe house. Let the crew handle it. <laughs> Defend the safe house. Let the crew handle it so I can just not. I was gonna check if they added more trophies. Anyways, I'm gonna probably do this whole safe house thing, set up the video, but hopefully we'll have a live stream later on. So thank you for everybody, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video and hopefully in that little live stream. Yeah.